Greetings, this is Dr. Lockdown coming at you from the TCCA meetup out in Ashfield Hotel. This video has been a long time coming. The comparison between Fans Toys Quake Wave and the Infi I mean, equally matched Masterpiece Shockwave. I could see Mikey just giggling in the corner there. I'm not sure if I should pan the camera to him. I won't. But first, I will just be showing you a bunch of footage from the table just to show how things are going. People have been pestering me to make this video for a very long time, and I've been pestering others to bring the damn toy to me for a long time. So, finally, let's get into the comparisons! In robot mode, you can really see these two have very different aesthetics. Quake Wave is going for a much more toy accurate, and Shockwave is going for a much more animation accurate. And of course, you should probably ignore what Mikey is doing in the background there with the toys, just to try and screw up the shot. He's failing miserably at that. Well, attack the usurpers! And kill them. They're not my toys, so I can break them. Oh great! Just say that right in front of the guy filming the video! They're both, honestly, very accurate to what they're trying to portray. I mean, sure, Quake Wave's going for the toy slash comic look, but, you know, I wouldn't say that MP Shockwave's bad because he goes for a more animation accurate thing. It's just my own personal preference of why Quake Wave's better. No, if we're gonna go on why Quake Wave's legitimately better than Shockwave, that would be the actual plastic quality. You see, MP Shockwave feels sort of light for a masterpiece. If you compare him to Masterpiece Optimus Prime, or one of the Masterpiece Seekers even, or one of the smaller Masterpiece figures, he feels very light. Sure, he is die cast, but he's not really that solid. Everything fits together very well, but the plastic solidity isn't as good. Quake Wave, on the other hand, is very, very solid in his plastic construction, and his back cleans up a lot better as well. There's just one problem. He parts forms because of it, because the backpack isn't actually part of the transformation, it just kind of opens up and does its own thing. That is a bit of a bummer. The articulation is very similar between the two, the only difference is that MP Shockwave also has an ab crunch, which I forget to show here, and you can also turn around the hose without any modification. Of course, with Quake Wave, you can turn around the hose depending on how you want it, but you're stuck in the toy orientation instead of the cartoon orientation, unless you do modifications. And when you do the modifications, that makes the gun very loose. It is a very big issue, and it comes at the cost of any lights in the gun, which, if you ask me, is a bit of a shame. The lights in the head work, but I haven't installed the new batteries in them, and it got broken in the trip to Europe, so I'm not going to show that. Even so, Masterpiece Shockwave's electronics are far better. There's no contest in that regard. Also, MV Shockwave has just a slightly better head, I think. That said, when you pose Masterpiece Shockwave, he doesn't feel as dynamic as when you pose Quake Wave. There is such thing as a dynamic sculpt, which will definitely help in the posability department, because it makes the posability that does exist look a lot better. Overall, though, these are both solid display pieces. It's just that if you want to mess around with them, well... I'd say Quake Wave just wins by that tiny little bit. Now, if you're going for transformations, they are both very different. Fans Toys Quake Wave, well, I know this transformation inside out, and the big problem is the parts forming backpack. Yes, it's Generation 1 accurate, but they really could have engineered it in. After all, Iron Factory Shockwave in the background manages to engineer the backpack in quite well, without any issues. Masterpiece Shockwave doesn't have this problem, however, he's a little bit complicated and finicky at times. Maybe that's just because I don't own him and I'm not used to transforming him, but even if I'd never owned Quake Wave, I would have been able to transform him quite easily. So take your pick. Lack of parts forming and a simpler transformation that's much more fun, or a nice complex transformation which isn't necessarily less fun for most people. And usually I do like more complex transformations, but Quake Waves is just... I don't know, I kind of prefer it. Masterpiece Shockwave does have a better hose though. Not only does it house the wire, but the spring is far more sturdy than Quake Waves' rubber hose. I'm worried that Quake Waves' other hose will actually break in the future. It is a bit of a shame. One thing to note when transforming Shockwave, by the way, is that the legs don't work like most traditional Shockwave figures do. Instead of the legs forming the back of the gun and the side parts forming the hilt, 
The back of the gun is formed by these weird parts that flip out, and the legs form the hilts. It's a little bit different. I haven't seen that many shockwaves that do that. But, you know, if you're going for animation accuracy, it works quite well. Aside from the different colours, and I really do think that Shockwave goes a bit overboard on the animation accuracy in that regard. Honestly, the guns? Well, Quake Wave wins just a little bit again. And I know I might seem like a third-party elitist, but honestly, I want to like the Takara one just as much as the fans' toys one. Because when Hasbro and Takara really put their minds to it, they can make something amazing. Unfortunately here, that's not the case. It's not the case of Superion destroying every other third-party attempt, or the case of the Masterpiece Optimus Prime being the ultimate Optimus Prime that doesn't really get beats in any regards, which does make me curious as how they're going to remake it. But if you look at Shockwave, it's just that little bit messy. The gun's not very cohesive. The blocky aesthetic really works in Quake Wave's favour. Sure, the tip is far looser, and the electronics on MP Shockwave are far better. They, they light up very well, they work well on the trigger instead of unfolding the whole thing and turning on the switch. And getting the head in for the transformation in Quake Wave is pretty annoying, but I still think Quake Wave's just that little bit better. It's a real shame I really wanted to prefer the MP Shockwave. Maybe I would swap out if I could be convinced otherwise, but the more I look at it, it's just not the case. Honestly, this could go either way, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for an absolutely Generation 1 cartoon accurate shockwave, then this is probably the best shockwave that's ever been made. It's had every other third party, every other Hasbro attempt. It is the most cartoon accurate one. However, I'm not going for accuracy. I'm not going for the toys, I'm not going for the cartoon, I'm not going for the comics. I'm going for what is the most solid toy. And Quake Wave does have, have some detractors. For one, no electronics once you fix up the arm. Second, you don't have the trigger finger, you actually have to click the arm in a certain way. Third, parts forming. Yes, it is probably the worst thing you can do on a Transformer, and Quake Wave does it. But, in the end, I still think it's just that little bit better. It's not the price. $5 is nothing, no difference whatsoever. Not to mention both of them have gone under numerous price drops, but he's just more solid. The plastic's better, the articulation's just slightly better, in spite of the lack of an ab crunch, but he's just better. I mean, sure, they're both fantastic figures, but maybe it's my own personal bias. Wake Wave is just that one tiny bit more special. I hope you enjoyed this video, it's been a long time coming. Okay everyone, you can make as much noise as you like now. Noise! Yeah! <laughs> Blackout's a good toy. Well, yeah, he is. That's no contest. Oh look, it's Broadwind Christian. <laughs> Off to a wedding now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arrive at the world, oh, Taxpayers' money, ha 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 ha.